Get us out. Last night, I'm running hard. I got zero. Let me see that right there. It says I have remaining fuel is zero. So now let's go ahead and fuel this thing up. We're at the loves and let's see what we got. Here's my gloves that uh, wifey got on Timu for me to try out versus my Amazon. Pretty good. Different fabric. All right, so you saw it had zero remaining in fuel. I bet it doesn't go over 160 gallons. Uh, both tanks on, on this one will probably hold I don't know, I'd say probably about 190 gallon or 100 gallon and 95% capacity. So, check out this big. Man, I think it's on falling down. It's picked it up this morning. But yeah, check this out. This big old heavy load here. Both of these together weigh 6700 pounds <laughs> so super light load and uh, yeah this was yeah all this is all organized here this was all pushed up here but when I undid this right here I had uh, 15 straps that I had to take off. So I got five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah. All right, so this side just now kicked. Which your main tanks run on the passenger side. Let's go ahead and top this back one off. Uh oh, we just hit 160. Oh, and it stopped. I hope I got you right. Alright, so I topped them both off. And that's what we did. Now let's get some depth. Alright, guys, so we are up here. Um, around the Birmingham, Alabama area. This is a PNS load. And it's basically just uh, metal tubing. At Atlas something. But, uh, yeah, so we up here waiting to get loaded it's a beautiful day out this load is going to Purdue, kentucky i'll deliver it tomorrow then deadhead to the house then i'll be picking up in newburgh indiana on monday running it to bishopville South Carolina. That is what we doing. I'm about ready to get up in the uh, sleeper and take me a nap. What the heck? All right, so this is what we're throwing on the truck. Let's go on this side. They already put a 40 footer on it. Everything else is going to be out here. They load. Big long sun buck there, ain't it? So it's a big long sum of buck here, ain't it? 40 footer. So 
get all those trucks. And you now see the last of the Mohegans right here. I swear, I smell coffee. I really wanted to get it right. Trying to find some balance in my life. I never really put up a fight. And now I'm losing sleep. What if I lost touch? What if I'll never get it right? I try to follow my heart, but I lost it somehow. Wish that someone could say it'll all be okay. Just, just listen to me as I say. Listen to me as I.
there. We Tetris it in there. All right, guys. So we got her all strapped down. She's she's singing. I like that good and tight. A belly wrapped. I couldn't get a belly, couldn't get a strap on the belly strap on this one, but on the top one and the bottom one, I've got three belly straps on each. Not a big fan of that, but I went up there and tried to wiggle it. It don't move, so there is pressure on there. So, pretty confident it ain't going to move anywhere. Got the, uh, got the bulkhead that moved up to here. Let's walk out of here. Let's shut this door. It is 1050 Central. And I checked in here right before five o'clock. So you see your belly strap there, belly strap there. You got some individual straps on the bottom. Belly strap there, belly strap there. Got a regular strap there, belly strap there. So, yeah. It's a hot mess, but it is secured properly. So we got 46,000 pounds. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we've got well over 70,000 pounds of securement when realistically DOT states that you only have to have half securement of the 46, yeah, 23 and a half. So we should be in good shape. Again, I'm not a big fan of these right here, but they're all, got good pressure on them they're not moving anywhere so not loose so that's good right, let's take this one give this one back to the, i borrowed that one a minute ago to push a strap through oh man i am tired so let's get this thing closed up and uh yeah, let's get parked for the night. Um, we're gonna deliver some Monday and still tomorrow. Yeah, he was supposed to be delivered tomorrow at 11 a.m. Um, as of right now, I won't even get, I'm probably gonna have to have a drive about an hour to find parking. There's a pilot down the road here, but this late at night, I doubt there'll be any parking there. So we're gonna check though. But so say, Let's say 11.30 at the earliest, 11, say, say midnight. I'm not going to get my time back until 10 a.m. tomorrow. And I'm six hours from there. Supposed to deliver at four or 11 o'clock. Wouldn't actually probably be there until 4 or 4.30 after you do the securement checks and go up and down the hills. So... We're just going to deliver it on Monday. Then we're going to leave uh, Paducah on Monday. Then we're going to roll to Newburgh to pick up and uh, head to Bishopville, South Carolina. But let's get this thing closed up and I'll holler back at you guys here shortly.